Welcome back to Linda Murray Fan Page. I will be doing a series of topics that come directly from you in regards to whatever there is in fitness that you want to talk about. Today I have chosen the discussion of abdominal training. I got a lot of uh, messages from you in regards to ab training. Now, people are always coming in the gym and they think that if I do a million sit-ups or crunches or abdominal exercises, that they will get perfect abs. There are three things that I think are very important when it comes to uh, getting a tight waistline. One, number one thing, diet, nutrition. Two, the exercises that you do. Not so much just the um, abdominal exercises, but what type of weight training you do. I actually don't train abdominals. You'll find that a lot of the uh, top level competitors and people with great abs, some people have great abs just because they have great abdominals. But, but secondly, it's really about how you weight train. So because I train my entire body, I do not need to do uh, abdominal exercise. I don't need to do crunches. And then third, cardio activity. Those three things, all hand in hand, will get you uh, some very tight and a firm abdominals, firm abdominals. Now you get some that just genetically, like I said, have great abs. And when you look at the abdominals, if you want a six pack, um, usually you're going to have to do, first, like I said, the diet, but you do upper uh, abdominal exercises and lower abdominal exercises. And also you want to think about your intercostals. Okay, so all three of those things are different. I'm going to demonstrate a couple of exercises. And of course, the typical crunch, legs up, just crunch up, bring your shoulders off the floor and that's all that's needed. Now, if you have your feet down, that's a lot. That's actually the easiest. Put your feet up. That's a little bit more challenging. And then put your legs straight up. That's a little more, more of a challenge. All right? Also, to do lower abdominals. Uh, lower abdominal exercises, what you end up doing is, for example, one of the favorites, bicycles. And the bicycle is this, right? That's what I see people doing. But this movement here is not really engaging the lower abdominals. So what you want to do is, is extend the leg out more. You want to extend the leg, the foot out, where the foot is almost six inches from the floor. That exercise will be bringing in upper abs, lower abdominals, and also the intercostals, depends on how much you twist. So again, you want the legs down, extend out. You don't want to be doing this move here. And also, of course, with abs, the old-fashioned abdominal exercises were bringing the body all the way up. And yes, that is a great way to train abs. You are getting upper and getting some of the lower. But if you have some issues with your lower back, it's not necessary to go that full, the full range. Now the thing that I was thinking about too, now today there's the hot exercises, the plank exercises. And so a lot of people say, oh, you don't have to do the crunches and, or the bicycle. But when I look at the two exercises, the plank exercises versus the actual uh, crunches, the actual sit-ups, I feel if I had to make a decision between the two, no question about it, it would be the crunches. Because to me, you're engaging the abdominals more. But again, if you have fat on the top, you'll have fat between the muscle, fat on top of your muscle, that is diet. You can do crunches. 
stretches till the cows come home and you will not see that six pack. Now, if you're trying to just have a streamlined physique like a lot of the bikini competitors and you're not trying to see your six pack, you just want to see a nice, tight, firm tummy, maybe a little line down the middle, then I think that the plank exercises are great. And of course, the plank, you want to be here. You want your body to be parallel to the front. You don't want the butter down and hold it in that position. You can also do side moves. And then the last thing that I want to say in regards to abdominal training versus the plank exercises and again, crunches. When I think about the, the core exercises, of course, you're incorporating the entire, your entire niche section and that's your lower back, a little bit of the upper back, and your abdominals. But you're not engaging, in my opinion, the abdominals the same way you do when you're, when you're crunching down. You're crunching here and you're actually, versus being in a plank position and tightening that muscle. To me, it would be the same as if I look at my forearm and if I hold the weight, and I hold it in that position like we do the plank exercise, I'm not actually engaging that muscle the way I would my abdominals. So you will have a nice, tight, firm midsection, but will you see, um, will you really be developing the rectus abdominis, the, th the six pack, or the intercostals the way you would if you were actually engaging, stretching the muscle, muscle and engaging. So, you guys, check me out, and um, you can always contact me at spiffbox.com. That's S-P-I-F-F -F box, B-O-X, dot com, forward slash Linda Murray, L-E-N-D-A Murray, M-U-R-R-A-Y, and also contact me my email address, Ms. Olympia 8, or check me out here on this page. So happy abdominal training.